You started working at Miramax when you were 21? Yes. I was an assistant at the London office. And how was it? It was great. But it would shift when Harvey came to town. In what way? Everyone became on call to Harvey. And what would that entail? Script meetings, discussions, and more personal stuff. Like? For instance, I would have to go to his hotel and wake Harvey up. I'm going to shower for him, get him out of bed. He would usually be naked, and he might try to pull me onto him. What did you do? I'd fend him off. I found humour or aggression worked best. Harvey was either excited or furious. You never knew which it would be. Did anyone on the team give you advice about him? Yes. <laughs> Once one girl told me to always wear my puffer jacket um, and to always sit in an armchair, never the sofa next to him, which helped. And that's how I knew that it wasn't only happening to me. What was happening exactly? Bullying. Emotional abuse. I was just too young to understand it. Harvey wanted people to submit to him. And if they didn't? Well, then he'd roar. And he'd spit. He could destroy someone in seconds. Were you scared of him? Yes. We all were. So three years into this, you were at the Venice Film Festival. I resigned after that. What happened? I can't tell you all of it. What can you tell me? There was a new assistant. She was my age. She was great. She was very smart. <laughs> and she was doing Harvey's evening script meeting alone for the first time. And I told her to call me if he got difficult. Was he pursuing her? No. Harvey said, I don't like Jewish or Asian women. But that night... She called you? No. The following morning, she came to me. And she was sobbing. And she was hysterical. <laughs> Rowena, what happened? <laughs> and... What is it? I held her. Did she tell you what he did? Not exactly. Only that no one must know, but I knew. I knew that he must have... What? She was so upset. I knew that it had to be the, the worst possible thing. I calmed her down and I went straight to confront Harvey, who was in a meeting uh, with Scorsese, who, you know, who hated him, so it was a really big deal for Harvey. And I went straight up to him and I said very clearly, you need to come with me right now. You went right up to them and confronted him? Yeah. I was so angry. And in front of everyone, he stood up. And he followed me like a lamb. And then I knew. And I knew he did it. And then? He denied it. He said, I swear on my wife and kids' lives that I did not assault that young woman. And then I knew that he was lying. <laughs> he always used that line as a get-out-of-jail-free card. Always. Did the assistant report it to the police? Mm. She told no one. We came back to London. We both resigned. I told my direct superior, who suggested we get ourselves a good lawyer. I had no idea where to get one. I found a company close to the office, and, and then I thought it would be simple criminal proceedings, but our lawyers said we had no chance, and the only thing to do was to agree to a settlement, and I said categorically no, that no money should change hands, and that we just wanted to stop him. And no UK police were involved? We had no case. We had no evidence, and no police report from Venice. And you see, with rape, it is impossibly difficult to get a prosecution. 